Mike is a drug dealer that, uh, at the beginning of the story, he seems real, I mean, just real headstrong and very, very sure of himself and, and just a, just a, a tough guy, a, a guy with a hard exterior. And as the story goes on and, and, his, and his problems start to unfold, he, uh, that exterior starts to break away and you can see that he's not, uh, uh, he starts falling apart mentally. And, uh, uh, and, and it gets worse and worse. He, he starts to unravel as the story goes further and further. And I don't want to give away too much, but as his problems, his problems get worse and worse. And as that happens, he unravels more and more. And as far as how I relate to him, um, I've been through situations very similar. Um, I won't go into detail with that. I mean, as far as uh, 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 situation with a girl that, that I dated in the past that uh, uh, was similar in Mike as far as to, to losing her, so I definitely could relate to that. Um, that's, that's probably the strongest way I related to him. Just mainly just studying the script, studying my lines, watching uh, lots of shoot 'em up movies with, with, with drug dealers and, and criminal types in there like uh, Payback and uh, uh, just watching other, other actors uh, portray roles of uh, people that, that, uh, that are, or, or, or other actors portray roles of, of people that are in organized crime. Um, uh, I would read my lines over and over and uh, uh, just uh, I actually probably the the best thing I did was uh, I actually wrote a biography for Mike starting from the day he was born up until the movie started and how he met Tony and and, and came across and met Sarah and uh, that I mean I mean between all those things it, it, it helped me to really develop my character and, and, and get in his head and uh, that those are those are mainly the things that I did to, to prepare for the role That motel was the rankest, nastiest place I've ever seen in my life. It's I was I was scared to touch anything. Uh, the actual filming was uh, it was strange because um, I don't know just 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 having to walk into this cramped motel room and there's like six people in there on top of the main characters that I don't know all, all crammed in the corner while we're filming and we had to sit there and, and, and all of us and like cry for like five minutes straight and you just got all these strangers sitting in the corner here who I didn't know who they were at the time you know just sitting there uh, watching it was kind of an awkward situation but uh, uh, that, that was the, the start of it uh, that was the angel scene and uh, uh, now the actual scene where uh, 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 where Zach's character comes in the room and things really come to a head that was very intense, and uh, we probably shot that like four or five times. And uh, uh, the very last take, I remember we we just went all out, and yeah, it was it was extremely intense. I mean, you could just feel the the energy in the room between people was crazy. I really liked it. It was. Uh, it was unpredictable, which is, uh, to me, that's those are my favorite movies, the ones where you don't know what's going to happen next in the story. And it, it was dark. Uh, uh, had a, it obviously has a darkness about it uh, 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 on many levels, and I like that too. I like, you know, uh, just dark, strange movies, and, and uh, uh, those are uh, kind of like, uh, 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 crap. Kind of like fight, not dark like horror movie, but uh, like uh, kind of like Fight Club has that type of darkness about it. A payback, which I mentioned earlier, uh, just a, just a certain dismalness to it that, that I don't know. I just find those types of movies appealing for some reason. They just always have appealed to me. That was a pretty easy, relaxing day. Um, we were out in the woods like forever. Uh, for about six hours and uh, we had camera problems when we were filming some of Ethan's scenes. That was, that was a pretty relaxing day. Uh, I'd have to say out of all the out of all the times that we shot that was that was definitely the easiest one. That was the, the, the least amount of work involved I guess you could say as far as doing such a thing. The church scene was a lot of fun. I think, uh, 
from what David told me, I think he said we had like 70 something people show up. And I got to see the whole the whole Hitler thing and everything on the movie uh, itself. But I mean, as far as uh, actually shooting, and most of the shooting we got kicked out because they didn't want us appearing in the shots. So um, uh, now we did get to see Ben do his sermon, which didn't make the final cut of the movie. But uh, that was a lot of fun to sit and watch. He's a he's a he's a character, old Ben. But uh, yeah, well, that was a lot of fun to watch. He's really good. Yeah, I think he pulled off that pastor part really nicely. And uh, yeah, it was just that was, that was a pretty interesting night. David is. Uh, uh, we've gotten to become to become really good friends over this whole process, and uh, uh, he's. I mean, he's extremely creative, very talented. He's always a pleasure to work with. We've done, we've uh, done, and are going to be doing a few other things besides tomorrow morning, which is still in the works, uh, to one extent or the other. Uh, but he's, he's been a pleasure to work with. Uh, we always have a, a blast when we're together, and uh, uh, he's probably one of the most uh, creative, interesting guys that I've met in a long, long time. He's, yeah, David's awesome. Uh, well. Uh, is that including the gay thing, or uh, well, other than that, oh, professionally, okay, professionally they complement each other very well. I think uh, uh, David's a more quirky, you know, uh, creative. He's, he comes up with all these crazy ideas, which Jeff does too. But I think they, you know, Jeff is more more serious than David, I guess, and and and. and I, don't, I can't really explain it, but they, they do complement each other very well. They make a really, really good team. It was probably one of the most interesting, I mean, I, experiences of my life. I mean, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I met lots of great people. Um, uh, I mean, all the main cast and everybody was great. I mean, working with everybody was great. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was very tumultuous at times, and other times it was great. I mean, you know, I... I laughed, cried, you know, there were parts that were grueling, and it was, uh, it was a mixture of everything. I mean, it was, it was a, a blast and very tough at times, and, and I mean, it, it, it went, you know, from one, one extreme to the other, you know, throughout the whole process.